Hello, um, here is the 2015 theme. This is a brand new fresh WordPress install. In this video, we're going to show how to change the theme and get a custom logo up and running. So if you just installed WordPress, this is very likely what you'd be seeing. Once you log in, which you would usually do by adding WP admin to the domain name, um, then you would log in with your username and password and you're going to see this screen. To change a theme, this is the basic theme that's the design of the website. We want to go to appearance, we want to go to themes, and we're going to actually use one called Generate Press, which is very easy to customize. It's a really nice looking theme. So we're going to go to browse and um, we'll go to popular. It is one of the most popular themes. We'll see it here. There it is, Generate Press. So we're going to install Generate Press, and then we'll take a look back at, um, at our live version to see what we have here. So we're going to activate this, and now where we used to have a website that looked like this, if we refresh this, we will now see um, the new theme. So you can see it's a little bit different here. Um, the first thing most people want to do with when customizing a theme is get a logo up and running, and I'm going to show you how to do that. A lot of what we're going to be doing through all these videos is using the customizer, which we access um, by going up into the upper left-hand corner here, and we can just go to customize. And this gen every theme has different elements that can be customized in this section. So if you're using this video as a reference for a different um, theme, you absolutely can, but you might not see the exact same options along the side here. So we're going to start in the header content section. Um, we're going to start by hiding what's currently there uh, by clicking these two boxes. And then we are going to upload a sample logo. Um, we can upload files or we can go to the media library. I actually just put a sample logo on the desktop here. So I'm going to grab that very quickly. Okay, and now you can see we've got that loaded up. We're going to use this image and now there's our logo at the top. So let's save and publish that. And now we have our new Generate Press theme with our custom logo um, up and running. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. <laughs>